Guy came and dropped off keys to a new silver Acura ILX, and then he disappeared. Brian and I headed up to Randy's Donuts in Inglewood, the one with the huge donut on top. They make a pretty solid apple fritter. Then Lisa and I played kickball in Venice. Everybody was in costume, and we had to skip to the bases in the odd innings. Afterwards, we drove through Sunny Grill in Mar Vista, where the marine layer made it look like an 80s music video. Brian's breakfast sandwich was the best, but it was all tasty. The next day, we hit up Astro Burger on Santa Monica Boulevard. Decent burgers, great pumpkin shakes. Damn. The next morning, we woke up, tagged the car, turned it into the LA Foodie Mobile. Our first stop, the Donut Hole in La Puente. The building here is the real star, but get the glazed if you dig donuts. Then to Chris's burger. In La Puente. Cool sign, decent pastrami burger. We like the fries. The girl in the drive thru in front of us told us to go to Bob's Burgers, also in La Puente. Decent burgers, even better fries. They got a koi pond. Then we drove to Montebello to Broguier's. It's a dairy. You drive through it. It's pricey, but it's cool. We love the bottle. Then we stopped into Bahuka and Rosemead, where the bartender tried to get us drunk on zombies because it was Halloween. Our last stop was the Hat in Temple City. Everything here was good. The big star was the pastrami chili cheese fries. The big surprise was the beef French dip. After a long day of grease bombs, we headed back to my place for a Halloween shindig. I was Walter Sobchak, Ben and Lisa were Fen and Flame Princess, Brian was an undecided voter, total cop-out. Whatever, my shit was poignant and topical, yo. Next day, Ben and I busted a move to Pasadena. First stop on the train was Tops. The pastrami burger was off the chain, and we nicknamed it Mr. Yumamubs. Chili cheese fries, also yum. Then it was off to Orion, the Health Express. General consensus was meh. Healthy fast food, the mata burrito, and peanut butter shake were good. Next, we headed to nearby Eagle Rock and Pete's Blue Chip, where the pastrami breakfast burrito was sick. Don't skip the fries, they're the best we had. We popped in the Galco's Soda Pop stop in Highland Park, because how can you not? Then we headed southwest, where we picked up Lisa and tried really hard to find a place in El Segundo. Stumbled upon I Heart Teriyaki where the spicy chicken was good, but the wait for it wasn't. We flew over to the In-N-Out by LAX. You've been here before. You know the drill. Burgers, fries, shakes. It's all they makes. But here it's about hanging out and watching the planes land on your head. On your head. On your head. Total jubilation. Brian loves airplanes. The next morning, we called ahead to Tubbs Fine Chili in Culver City. We pulled up in the alley and two horn honks brought out an impromptu alleyway tailgate party. Everything was tasty. Get the chili shooter and a cornbread bowl. Hell, get a couple. The shit is fantastic. Then Friday night, we braved the 405 as we headed down to the color run in San Diego. We ate at the money pit in Escondido where the fresh burger was somehow better than the hot dogs surrounded by onion rings. Woohoo! It was time for the color run. I felt like I was dancing in a rainbow. Dorsey said we looked like we'd been in a fight with a unicorn and won. Ben and Brian looked like smirked up avatars. On the way back to LA, we stopped at a stone company store in Ocean. Side. Fresh beers and a chill backyard kind of vibe. It was cute, even though we went to go to the brewery. I blame Surrey. Then we hit up Snow to Go and Mission Viejo. It was a pretty long wait, but the apple pie shaved ice stuffed with ice cream was pretty fucking tasty. The next day, we asked Twitter where to drive through for breakfast. At Semi Evil, girl suggested Dinos, or is it Dinos? On Pico in South LA. We got there, no drive through. What? Fuck. Ben was hungry and sad. So, at Red Eye Music, suggested Tom's Family Restaurant in North Hollywood. I had the Polish sausage and egg sandwich. The mayo made it worth it. We saved room for Tommy's original world-famous hamburgers on Hollywood Boulevard. Tasted like the chili had been in the fridge for days. Just awful. Sorry, guys. Then we headed to Mashuga for Sushi in West Hollywood. Pretty good. Their Japanese pizza is tasty, and just like tubs, they'll bring it to you in the alley. It was time for dessert, so we used the last drops of gas to get us a lickety splits and bellflower. They had an amazing slash terrifying banana split man mascot, but the ice cream was just okay. For our last drive through, it was over to Bob's Big Boy Broiler and Downey. Amazing shakes and good burgers and fries. This place is beautiful. We only had an hour to get back before the accurate people came to pick up the car. The dash said we just had four miles left of gas, so I put in a gallon. We watched the miles slowly tick away, but we had just enough gas to get to a car wash. It got off most of our car tattoos, but not all of it. Two minutes away from home, the lady from Acura calls us in the car, says they're three blocks away. Lisa figures out we need rubbing alcohol, runs upstairs and gets all the writing off just as the lady rolls up for the keys. I no longer know how I ate all those things and I feel like a fat ass. Oh.